All right, I can't imagine a better skill cast tip to start with than how to colorize or solarize your Windows command line shell. Truth is, this will work for anything. I was raised on Linux and Mac and had a lot of animosity for Windows most of my life, but these days, Windows isn't too bad. And the fact is that most game development is happening on Windows. So you'll find um, my school, we, we use Windows primarily, and I also teach... Um, teach uh, teach it at the community college. It doesn't mean we don't have a Retina Display Mac in the back and a pretty hefty Ubuntu Linux box here as well. In all cases, wouldn't it be nice to have some nice pretty colors? In fact, if you need further justification so that you can shut down the hardcore black and white guy that you may know who's been using a terminal, I don't need no stinking colors, then show him this um, uh, research study from the Journal of Psychiatry and Neuroscience, which says, says that uh, that bright uh, light and a positive mood increase your serotonin levels, which make you less depressed, which makes you less, less like that guy probably, makes you a happier person. Um, in addition to that, eat well and get some exercise. Coders, get out, get do something, go paddleboard, go skate, do whatever you need to to get out, take a break, because that's where your breakthroughs will come, and it really has happened. It's happened for me over the last what twenty something years. Get out. Okay, so enough that, enough that on the soapbox. Let's go colorize our terminal now that we know why. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about why we would and why we went with Solarized. Solarized was invented by this genius. I think he's a genius. I would love to buy this guy a beer or send him money. Um, he did the research to find the best terminal colors, which is always something. As soon as somebody decides to put terminal colors up, for example, in Putty here, the ANSI colors uh, from Linux, you can see they don't always work. They certainly don't work on a Windows command line terminal, but um, you know they may work better on a Mac or Linux, but there's no consistency, and that was his point. You know, you pick a terminal, you do something, you pick a great color scheme, and then it's gone next time. So uh, he found the most optimal colors. It's quite, it's quite a left brain approach to a colored terminal, but he's exhaustively done it all and put it in everything, and he's got a white version and a black version, so no matter what, uh, I'm sorry, dark and light, and, and less... Um, you're on something that's really ancient, um, you're going to be able to use it. So how do you use it? Well, if you're on a Windows box and you need to um, grab this invention, and Neil, if you're out there, you get a beer too, because I was like, this is spectacular, whatever, if you don't drink, whatever. But this is fantastic, and he went ahead and did the registry settings. I was in the middle of doing this, and I found this, and I was just very happy. This turns all of your consoles anything with a terminal on Windows into a solarized, beautiful creation, okay? So what you can do is you can go out and um, download this file from him. I mean, if, I mean, you can just get it right here. You only need that one file if you just wanted to save it. But we're going to do it properly to practice our Git skills, Git clone, and I'm going to be lazy like a good coder, and I'm going to go grab the SSH URL to my clipboard, right-click. By the way, if you right-click and pasting's not working, guess why? I've said this a million times, go turn quick edit mode on. This is Git Bash. Hitting enter. There's other tutorials about Git Bash, by the way. Um, okay, so now we have Neil's wonderful registry settings, and we can enter them. Now, I happen to know the command for entering these from the command line on Git Bash. In fact, it's right here, line 17. Boom. That will work for me because I have set up my machine knows where regedit is because I have set that up and there's a tutorial about how to do that. Uh, but if you don't necessarily want to do that or you haven't watched that tutorial yet, you can just go and start reg edit like most Windows nerds do. And there's your registry editor. We can go into file, we can do any import, and we can go find you, do, 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 where do you live? Where do you live? There, I go to the desktop. No, I don't want the desktop. I want... This is where my Windows skills come in. I am not... I am very much a Linux guy, which is why <laughs> you're going to see that. Lots of junk on here, but I'm going to go find the one I just loaded. Where is it? Command commands color solarized. See, now do you know why I like the command line so much better? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go with dark. Click on the dark. Click on open. <laughs> Boom, and it'll give you a warning. It'll say they've been added to my registry, and now every terminal you open from that time on will be a beautiful color. Now, 
if you want to test it right away before you get git bash on, you can go over here and just, you know, normal, your normal command shell. All you notice is you'll just get the background. You don't get the colors yet. Sorry. Denied. You're not going to get the colors unless you run something that does color. Um, and I don't think, let's try it. I don't think that the uh, normal directory has color. I don't think so. Nope. That's my Windows naive lameness coming out but I don't really care because I have git bash and so you know how to get git bash if you don't watch another tutorial another skill cast out there where you talk about doing that in the meantime enjoy your new colors and if you want to take it another level you can go and look at my config and because in, in my bash rc I have a command called colors whoops colors it shows all the different colors and this is how you can start and as by the way I also have ANSI colors which is how I came up with them because this shows you how to map ANSI colors and what they appear to be. Um, all of these are in my bash RC, which also contains my command prompt, which I will cover in another skill cast so that you can make your own applications and own um, your own outputs that are colorized and you can build all that wonderful serotonin to make you a better programmer. Um, so if you wanted to go to my personal config, here it is. It's under config. There's my own thing. I actually have a command. It's part of my setup. If you want to read through my bash RC, I'll be going through parts of my bash RC and a lot of different skill casts. Um, and I encourage you to start your own. It's one of the most uh, enjoyable parts of being a Unix geek. And in this case, you can be a Unix geek on a Windows box and nobody will know. So here you go. There's my logo. I like Solarize so much. I went ahead and made it my company logo. And there'll be t-shirts as well. So I maybe oil some royalties, Mr. Ethan and Neil. If I do, let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for Solarize and thank you for watching. Take care.